and welcome once again to the Rowdy.com Big Three, sitting alongside Buzz Cutler. I am Bass Masters. We're Pop, talking racing. Popeye versus the Ramones. Who would win? Uh, Popeye would probably yeah. beat Joey Ramone. Yeah. But Joey Ramone and the rest of the Ramones would musically kick Popeye's ass. Let's talk NASCAR. Kurt Busch, good during the day and good at night in the Coca-Cola 600. Now, I'm a believer. I mean, anybody who said that Kurt Busch was sort of uh, a champion by circumstance or was in the shadow of his brother hasn't been paying attention. Just look at the rest of the guys on Penske Racing's team and see how they're performing versus how Kurt Busch is performing. And Kurt Busch earned his championship, and he's starting to make enough noise that you might think another one is in his future. Yeah, and I absolutely thought that the most impressive part of this race was the fact that he was so good during the day, and yet he and Steve Addington able to keep up with the racetrack and be good during the evening as well. We've seen Jimmy Johnson do that before, but I'm trying to think of someone else who's actually done that, Cutler. Certainly the final pit stop played into Kurt's uh, favor big time. Well, and Kurt said in victory lane, what did he say, Steve Addington is brilliant or Steve Addington is a genius, something along those lines. Him. I love I heart Steve Addington. Yeah, and the other interesting thing is, remember one of our concerns after the All-Star Race was, would Kurt be good on the long runs because the All-Star Race is by definition a short run type of event and uh, they were absolutely able to make the transition from the all-star style race at Charlotte to the 600. You have to also be impressed with Jamie McMurray because honestly, Jamie was the best car on the long run at the end. If it weren't for that final caution with about 20 laps to go, Jamie probably would have won this race, came out with a lead on the final green flag pit stop, and I think he would have been able to hold Kurt off, giving Chip Ganassi a remarkable daily double, one spot short for the one car. But you have to say, and I'll say this about Jamie McMurray, is this not proof to someone like Dale Jr. that maybe a driver doesn't fit with an organization that's pretty accomplished and you can go home again and you can go back to a place that suits you better because he's driving, so, his confidence, everything about Jamie McMurray is vastly improved. Every season. Everything is vastly improved and obviously Jamie McMurray is in a much better place at Chip Ganassi Racing. I'm still not sure that I have seen enough to say that Jamie McMurray is going to be contending for a place in the chase year in and year out. I think what we're still seeing is flashes of competitiveness interspersed with bouts of mediocrity. Now, less so than we I have in years past, but I still am not seeing the consistency that I think you need to be a chase contender year in and year out. I think out. he's so much more consistent and so much more confident. And the issue number three has got to be Kyle Busch and Jeff Burton. I mean, w what did we think about this? Jeff Burton, after the race, was extremely angry with Kyle. When he talked to reporters, he said, you know what, Kyle's aggressive, I enjoy racing with Kyle, but if he's gonna get aggressive and it's gonna happen, take it out, and that aggression is gonna cost me something, well, now I have a problem with that, and he made that very clear. And and that is the risk you run with a driving style such as Kyle Busch's, right? You if, if, with your aggression, it's so easy just to cross that line. If you're that aggressive, it's just so easy to cross the line and to end up ruining somebody else's day, and if you do that consistently, you're gonna piss people People off, even a guy as even tempered and as circumspect as Jeff Burton. I, I think there is a difference here too between old school racers and, and new school racers. That's a good to point. someone like Kyle Bush, there's a little more anything goes in the final 10 laps. To someone like Jeff Burton, and we've talked to our buddy Rick Mass about this a lot, if you get into me, that you got to take responsibility for that. So if you put your car in a position where you get into me, then it's your responsibility to race me clean and get by me clean. It's not, hey, anything goes in the final 10 laps. I think the younger guys feel a little more like, hey, I got to do what I got to do to get to the front. And the old guys feel like, you got to race me clean regardless of the circumstance. And you saw Jeff Burton very upset about that. What I love about Jeff Burton, though, is even in his anger, even in his ire, he said, look, I know the guy didn't mean to do it. I still enjoy doesn't racing matter. with him. Right, it doesn't matter. If you but shoot me in the leg, I don't really care if he meant to do it. <laughs> what I'm saying is that I think that's just a testament to Jeff Burton and the way he handles himself, that he was able to sort of separate sort of Kyle's intent from the result and have a little bit of perspective, even in the heat of his anger, which, you know, is not easily done. And I wonder, does Jeff Burton have to do anything else as an old school racer to make sure that he's not taken advantage of or roughed up by Kyle Busch Look, again. I think Jeff Burton getting angry in, in, in on pit road right after the race and 
jabbing his finger in your chest, I think that sends a loud enough message. It's sort of like when Kyle Petty gave Denny Hamlin a dope slap upside the head after Dover. I think when guys like Kyle Petty and Jeff Burton get in your face publicly, I think that's the only retribution that is required. I think Jeff Burton might have a little something for Kyle Bush down the road. All right, that's so? been, I do. All that's right. been your Ratty.com Big 3 for today. For Cutler, I'm Bass. We'll see you tomorrow. Maybe Buck will be back. Yeah. Who knows? It's always possible. Rowdy.com. Say it like it is. Say what like it is. Rowdy.com. Rowdy.com.